What's up, lovers? How are you doing today? Today, I am making a video about three tricks that will make the bitches chase you. Yes, 99% of bitches will chase you. Like you heard me say, I said bitches today because that's who I'm going to talk about. Those tricks will not work on a woman who knows her values. So, so don't try and come back and tell me, Melly, it didn't work here. I told you right now. It's not going to work. So make sure they're bitches. All right. Before we start, real quick, there is a link in the description of this video if you want to come with me to Costa Rica. So you just click the link and then you come. We go on vacation for seven days. Come party with me, have fun, get to know me, I get to know you. Please come, click the link. All right, so let's jump right into it. I know you're tired of chasing because it's always you, 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 you gotta do everything. But today I'm telling you, if you do those three, them bitches will be like, daddy, pick me! You know, they always call me a pick me, but this time they're gonna wanna be picked because they're gonna see what you, what you got going on. All right, so let's go. Number one, make her believe that you are higher than her. Yes, she got to feel like she's winning something. She got to think that you are the prize and that pretty much you talking to her is you doing her a favor. You know, you want her to be like, damn, he chose me, okay. Yes, you want her to feel like that because once the women think that your value is lower than her, she's not interested. Because, you know, bitches want to get high, very high. So if she thinks like she's better than you, it's not going to work. So the minute, you know, why do you think bitches be... <sighs> drooling for fucking celebrities is because they feel like celebrities are better than them higher than them just because they have some clout and money i know it's stupid but that's what's going on in their brains you gotta make sure that you are confident a little arrogant but not over the top because too over the top you're becoming disgusting you gotta make her invest in you she gotta feel like oh my god i need him if i get him that's the prize that's the reward Try to put it like this, being around you should be a privilege. That's how you should see yourself anyways. Being around you, you know you're great, you know you're good looking, you know you got your shit together, you know you got shit going on. It's a privilege. I'm giving you my time, bitch, be happy. Yes, and I tell you all the time, you gotta make her invest in you. So if she's the one telling you, hey, can we go out? And you say, yeah, she's paying. Letting a woman pay doesn't mean that you're not a real man. It doesn't. I pay all the time. Also, make her come to your house. Why are you going over there? Imagine the king going over people's house. Yeah, he might go over the peasant's house to be like, hey, give me my money, hey. Or oh, actually, he's going to send his, uh, his God. Hey, you owe money to the king. Where the money at? But then when we're talking about bitches, does the king go to the, the bitch house? No. The bitch is going to sneak in, even if he got a wife. The bitch is going to sneak in and find a way to go fuck the king. That's how it's supposed to be. You tell her to come to your house. She pays for her own gas. Hopefully she got a car. If she doesn't, she pays for her own Uber to get her house to you. Yes. So don't go to her house. Also, ignore her sometimes. You know, she be texting a lot just, oh, I didn't see, oh, I was busy, oh, oh. Then she's gonna be like, oh, wow, he's really busy. Maybe he really didn't see my message. You gotta put yourself on a pedestal so the woman is gonna think you're higher than her and therefore she's gonna try to reach you because you are in high demand we want something we can have we want what other women want crazy i know so just in the event that you do get her <laughs> i want to talk to you about joy mode yes because you know i know you be at the gas station looking at them pills and you're like mm, appetizing no it's not appetizing sir no you're not touching that because it's dangerous joy mode is here to save the day because with joy mode you're gonna have an erection you're gonna perform and everything is gonna be great in the bedroom and then you will have a repeated customer. That's what you want, then you use Joy Mode. Joy Mode is all natural because what's on the market is trash, so it's here. This is the Sexual Performance Booster. So you need to see this as the pre-workout for sex. This is designed to support erection quality, firmness, and sex drive. How you take it too, super simple. You open the little packet, you pour it in six to eight ounces of water, you drink it, you drink the whole thing, but you make sure it's 45 minutes to four hours before you get busy. Yes, you make sure. So whether you're unhappy with your performance or you're good already, why not be better? Better is always better. So what you do is you go to usejoymod.com slash Melly, or you just enter Melly at checkout and you get what? 20% discount on your first order. 
I don't know if you've ordered yet, but I'm telling you, I'm getting a bunch of emails. Yo, Joy Mode works. <laughs> yeah, I told you it works. I told you. Listen to me sometimes. So you click the first link in this description and you're on your way to pound town, pound town, pound town. All right, goodbye. Number two, to make sure women keep on chasing you, you got to make sure she is scared of losing you. Yes. Women will take advantage of you left and right and still keep you around. No. I tell you all the time what you need to do when a woman act up, you got to check her. The minute you don't check her, she's going to be like, oh, he's a pushover. I can do whatever. Right there, you lost. No, don't let no shit slide with them bitches. If it's a woman and you're like, okay, she messed up here, okay. When I'm talking about bitches, you don't let shit slide. She got to hear exactly what she did and how you feel about it. You, you don't got to be mean about it, but just like, yo, if you don't clean up your act, that's not going to work for me. You got to let her know that you're not afraid of walking away from her. The minute a woman thinks like, oh, you're just going to be here forever, you lost again, again. We want to be kept on our tippy toes and be like, should I do that? Because if I do that, you know, maybe I may lose him. She got to be scared. Yes. And I know a lot of you might really like the girl. So you're like, yo, but if I do that, she might leave. I'm telling you, she's not going nowhere. She's not. When you don't check her, I'm telling you, that's when she's going to go find the, the dude who checks her all the time. Because in her mind, oh, he's manly. He's that. That's dumb. Dumb. Because not checking her doesn't mean you're not manly. But in her mind, in them bitches' mind, I'm telling you, that's what's coming in, in and out, in and out. Mm -mm. Also, by not, uh, also, by not checking her and letting her walk all over you, it's going to become unattractive because she's going to wonder, like, yo, if he is that high value, why is he allowing me to treat him like that? So all of a sudden, your value is going to be lower and it's going to start decreasing. The more you don't check her, the more your value is going to be low, 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 low. Because you don't respect yourself. At this point, you know, you think you're doing her a favor by not checking her. But no, you're doing yourself a disservice because now she's not respecting you. She thinks like, oh, he's a bitch. <laughs> Borderline, you're a bitch now. You're a pussy. Yeah, they're quick to call men that from something they did and from you trying to be understanding. I know it don't make sense. But trust me, it's the truth. Also, if a bitch is telling you, I'm going to leave you. Tell her, well, go. The door over there. Yeah, yeah, go for it. You cannot be scared. The moment she was sent, like, mm, he's a scary motherfucker, you're done. Yeah. So make sure. If she want to leave, tell her. Yeah, leave. And make sure you tell her to, you know, there is no coming back with me. Just, just so you're aware of what you're about to do right now. And number three, talk about other women. So I'm not telling you, oh yeah, I fuck hella bitches, I got a roster. That, that's not what I'm telling you to do, so don't go do that. But I'm telling you, when you're with the bitch, because she's a bitch, but you want her, I don't know, but back on the topic. You want her, your bitch, and um, when you're on the street, you got to let her know that your eyes are still open, that you still see other women. You know, nothing too excessive, but you can be walking, and you can be like, oh, she got a great smile, or oh, she's pretty as hell. You know, not excessive, not like 20 bitches in 10 minutes, not like that, because now you OD, but um, you got to make sure that she knows that there's still competition. Yeah, maybe you have me, maybe we're vibing, we're cool, but yo, don't get it twisted. I still see other women. So make sure you still compliment other women, but in a respectful manner. Or you can say some shit like, yo, what's going on with that girl over there? She's staring, like, what the hell? You know, so you're acting like you're not interested, but you see that there is other girls looking at you. So then she's going to be like, oh, my man is wanted. She's, that's that's going to make her like you more. But also that's going to make her realize that there is still competition out there. And that she needs to be on her best behavior. Women love when their man is desired by other women. Because again, that makes them feel like they're the lucky one to have you. That's going to make her feel good. And because of that, she's going to be nicer, more loyal, more cooperative. All of that. So it's a win-win for you. So that's all I have for you guys today. All these three, hopefully you can do all three together. We'll make bitches, bitches chase you forever, forever. So make sure you implement that in uh, your relationship with your bitch because you got a bitch. I don't know what you're doing. But yeah, you, may, you make sure you keep that up. All right. All right. So that's all I have for you. 
Hopefully you can like, share, comment. You can subscribe to my Patreon at www.patreon.com slash Monaco. Hopefully you're coming with me to Costa Rica. Click the link too. And uh, you can follow me everywhere. Everything is in the description of this video. It's so many Medi Monaco, Medi Motors, Medi Travels, all of this. You know, you, you go on Instagram, YouTube, you subscribe, you follow. I appreciate you. Thank you. I will talk to you soon soon.